There we go. Double raid boss. I want to put mine down. There we go. Eight minute marks. You can get up to two raid bosses now. Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to this week's Direct Strike Wiggly Brawl tier list with Phoenix. Alright, let's look at the Brawl modifiers. Okay, we have Aura. We have Stockpile. Okay, so that lets us go to tier 2 right away then. And we also have Raid Boss. Oh, so the Raid Boss Brawl is back. Ain't that right? Okay, so the Raid, Bo the raid Boss Brawl uh, did come around once this year, but then it like literally got cancelled like the next day. And a new brawl got pushed out. So I'm kind of excited to play this brawl. I only got to play like two games of it. I mean, maybe I'll link the playlist of the two games there. Uh, but since it's an aura brawl and a stockpile brawl, it seems pretty vanilla, honestly. Okay, so I'm against Artanis here. We have probably a Kerrigan ally. Yep, there it is. And we have an Artanis. So as an aura brawl, I'm pretty sure the commanders that are going to be good are going to be the ones that make use of the aura the best. The stockpile just... Probably makes Tychus' early game a little better. I don't know. So here we go. I'm just going to put down Phoenix right away. Uh, I had some advice from uh, Resilence. Just to be like, hey man, just get Phoenix right away. And I'm like, oh, okay. And uh, since I have Stockpile, uh, I can just uh, get that a lot easier. So there we go. We have Phoenix out. And against Artanis, I can probably just run uh, like a Legionnaire. Because uh, Dragoons don't do too well into Legionaries. Ugh. All right. By the way, guys, I've already hit 400 subs, uh, for those of you who are all following. And so, I am probably going to have my stream. Um, I'm actually kind of deciding right now, because I might actually be busy on either Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure which day I'm going to pick. But I'm going to have my stream probably... Oh, okay. Mm, I don't actually know. I'll probably... Okay, you know what? I'll probably just say... Mm, you know what? I can't announce it yet. I need to sort of confer because I might have an event or something to do. And so that might make it so that I cannot have it on either Saturday or Sunday. I want to see which day the event is going to happen on. And then uh, we'll move from there. So I'm going to put down two Immortals here. Um, I feel like maybe the correct move might have been against Artanis to just build more Legionaries. Because I don't think Artanis has, I don't think Artanis has anything that can deal with Legionaries very well. Um, because these guys have so much health. Like, their health pool is massive. They got 300 HP. Um, there we go. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, but anyways, I'm just gonna, like, have the announcement out. There's probably gonna stream on either Saturday or Sunday. For now, for now. Uh, and for those of y'all, uh, who, uh, wanna see it, don't miss it. Right, be sure to go check it out. It's probably gonna be happening, uh, oh no. It's definitely gonna happen between, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until oh wait 7 p.m is a little later than what i usually do so you know what you know guys let's just go i'm just gonna go with saturday uh 5 p.m eastern standard time until 8 p.m eastern standard time um so like, like good little three hour stream so that's what i'm gonna go with cannon is down already nice you know what i just realized i haven't gotten my modifier yet <laughs> let's have a look Mmm, fire, ice, force, um, hmm, I mean fire works really well with carriers, that's about it, probably not gonna go carriers, I'll just go ice, my units are ridiculously tanky anyways, I don't actually have any of the heroes either, uh, let's just turn, the, turn this guy into Kaldalas, and then let's get some more immortals here, um, is Artanis trying to tech up the tier, like tier 3 or something? Uh, because Vartanth is trying to go tier 3, I should probably just anticipate. Oh, okay, oh, okay. We got some... Mm-hmm. We got some spawn rights here. Alright then. Let's put out some, uh, let's put out some scouts. So, my experience with scouts is that, uh, I kind of want to have... I kind of want to have, a uh, Mojo not be in the front, because Mojo sort of just dies real quickly. So... 
if he is in the front. So I'm going to do that. And then... Oh, but I'm not going to have Mojo out this round. Because Mojo costs a little bit more. And so Swan Rates here put, coming out here. That actually helps counter us. But um, I don't think they're going to count us for long. Scouts are actually really badass um, in terms of taking out air. So we can summon a Ray Boss now. But I think it stacks. I'm not sure if it stacks... I think it stacks every four minutes. So about eight minute mark, you should be able to have like two raid bosses or something. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, boom. Oh, that didn't do much. All right, because everything's shielded. Oops. Um, but Artanis's wave is really not cutting it. Uh, oh wait, I went into overcharge mode, but then I realized like I don't have enough energy to take advantage of overcharge mode. And that's a that's a big, that's a big oof, guys. That's a big oof. Okay, so, it's okay. I'll just put this down here. I'll turn this guy into Mojo. I'm just going to have Mojo off to one side, I guess. Like, I know it, it doesn't look all, all right, but you know what? It's fine. He's off to one side. Maybe he'll survive a little bit better. Um, there we go. And then I'm going to upgrade Suppression Procedure on Mojo. I'm going to get Combat Sensor Array, and we should be able to dominate uh, the Swan uh, pretty nicely. So, yeah, tune in Saturday. Uh, 5 p.m. EST to 7, or was it 8 p.m. EST? So I'm gonna have a nice little three-hour stream. You guys can come and watch. You guys can come and play. Uh, whatever you guys want to do, right? Um, and yeah, I'll probably put like a little notice or something on like the top right corner of my stream or top left, where you guys can like add me uh, if you guys want to play together and stuff. And oh my God, he's got a cyclone. Well, cyclones are kind of squishy though, so there we go. Two immortals here just gonna get right past it. And look at that. All it took was a few scouts and we got past that line. So I'm just gonna get another scout. And then um mm, we have our Tannis with a nice little crusher robo bay comp. Okay, enemy putting down their um raid boss. Uh there we go. But raid boss, as you can see here, is not exactly gonna cut it. It only it only has 1500 HP, and you can only summon it on your own side. Um I think we get two at eight minutes, so, oh god, guys, you know what, this is starting to look like last week's brawl, with the timing push and everything. Uh, <laughs> you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys have gotten tired of seeing it, though. So, oh my god, Archons are actually destroying us here. Uh, hmm, okay, okay. So, it looks like Archons actually did a number on our wave here. So, I think I need some giraffes. Guys, I think I need some giraffes. Uh, I need some giraffes, and I need some, I need some of these. Okay, so... I'm gonna put down. I'm gonna put Taldarin down over here on the on one side. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put him down over this side, and then I'm gonna spread out my uh, scouts a bit better because uh, right now they're a little too close together. There we go. There we go. Put that down here. Oh, uh oh, there's a bit of lag coming in. I think that's me. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's that's that. That was definitely me, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's just get that down over here and. Let's see, I only have two gas right now. I should probably get my third gas at this point. Um, although, it's almost 8 minute mark, so maybe not third gas. I'll just get grab weapon upgrades too. Uh, okay, Kerrigan has transitioned to Mutalisk, which is going to absolutely murder Karax. But unfortunately, there's an Artanis on the enemy team. So, uh, Artanis is going to murder those. So, we're, we're pretty balanced here. Yep, so we get two raid bosses here. Uh, there we go, double raid boss. I want to put mine down. There we go. Eight minute marks. You can get up to two raid bosses now. And so you can only put them on your side. I think the first time the raid boss brawl was out, there's a exploit where you can put it down on your opponent's side of the map. Uh, and uh, that was uh, that was a little too good. So, yeah. Um, Alright. We are going to push in. And we're probably just going to win the game right off the bat here. But if we're not going to, um, we're going to have a long game on our hands. So let's just go. Let's just rock with this right now. Oh my God! Look at look at all that bile being launched out from the Balkanis from the from the infested Thor's. Holy! And what exactly does it shoot? It's got caustic needles. Look at that hits air, tentacles that hits light, ground. This hits ground as well. Oh, the Balkanis have they, they have three weapons and two of them hit ground. Oh my God! And I'm just I'm just lagging on my mind here right now. I don't know. I, is it me? Doesn't make any sense because I have a pretty good computer, so maybe someone else is lagging and then like Starcraft slowing down to help process the thing. I'm thinking that's what it is. The lag. 
Yeah, because there's a lot of projectiles coming out here from uh, this guy, and someone's just frozen. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's 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 our guy. It's our guy who's lagging. Um, that makes a lot of sense here. And there we go. Let's go. All right. Hold on. Let me close the door a little bit further. Bam. And there we go. So let's just wait. Um, let's just wait. He's lagging out. He's lagging out. Uh, but I don't think we're going to actually be able to end the game on this push because uh, the enemy raid bosses are also here. Um, so this week's brawl is going to be a lot more interesting, to say the least, which I'm glad. I'm glad because uh, I got really bored playing the brawl too um, with the efficient 8-minute uh, one. You're the one popping up as DC Lamau. All right, it's Crimson that's lagging. Wow, me. <laughs> well, let's just wait. Um, okay, well, I guess we're going to have to boot Crimson. Um, here we go. I mean, if we boot Crimson, we're going to lose our, our hard swan counter. But yeah, not all the blues are the same. All right, here we go. But unfortunately, the, ga the game has to go on. Yes, guys. Black Lives Matter. You heard it here. Um, anyways, we're going to have to boot it. We're going to have to boot him. Okay, so he's out. That means we actually have less raid bosses to summon, which means we're, in the long run, going to be disadvantaged um, heavily. Um, mm -mm. That might not be too good. Karax's raid bosses are actually getting repaired here. So I'm thinking anyone who can interact with armored units is going to do pretty nicely this week. Because um, raid bosses are considered armored. Um, and, oh my god, I'm going to need gravimetric overload here. Oh my god, he's shooting the bow cannons at the at our scouts here, and I do not have nearly enough anti armor here. Um, and you know what? I need a I need a conservator. I need a conservator. I'm gonna put that right in the middle. Uh, so hopefully it can drop a cons like a shield right in the middle. But this might be this might be the beginning of the end here for us. Might be. Might actually be the beginning of the winning streak, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think Kerrigan was doing quite well here. And uh, going to the Karak's Wave, I don't know if I actually have what it takes to kill the Karak's Wave. Um, let's see. He has a lot of Annihilators. Oh my god. And he has a lot of Zealots too. He has a way more Zealots than I do. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need some... Uh, I'm gonna need some Colossi for this. And the raid bosses aren't timing out either. Um, uh oh. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna get... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna need, I need, I need Colossi, so I need, I need to go to tier 3. I could probably get Disruptors, honestly, but right now I'm gonna get a few Colossi, and then I'll have to think about switching to Disruptors. Um, hardcore. Yeah, we're getting Side Storm here, but the Side Storm lane doesn't hurt us. Uh, there's only one raid boss left, but uh, you can see how it did a big number on us here. So we're going to tier 3 now. Raid boss is a uh, massive health pool actually coming in very clutch here. Uh, for them, that is. And the Cyclones are here now. They're going to lock on onto Phoenix. And there we go. He just got deleted. All right. Okay. Artanis coming in here. Bring it down. Able to clean it up. But Artanis' wave is probably actually going to be weak against all of these um, Zealots here. Because well, there's just so many Zealots. And he doesn't have anything to actually counter them. Uh, so I'm going to have ooh, Colossi over here. I'm going to put one of them down. Um... I kind of want to get Adepts, to be honest, because Adepts do well against these light air units, these light mirages, and they do well against the Sentinels that Karax is coming in with, but I think besides that, I don't think they do well against anything else, so I don't know. I think the Colossi are still really good for fire support, so I'm definitely going to keep them in the back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep like two. I'm going to get two at least, at least two. Probably more, to be honest. Um, and we're just going to try and dominate the ground unit ground right now. I don't have any... Oh, okay. Okay, they're making a hard push on us now. I need to get extended Thermal Lance here. Um, there we go. Alright. Extended Thermal Lance coming out. There we go. Okay. That doesn't stand a chance right now. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Alright. Colossi here doing their best, but they're getting surrounded, actually. Um, which tells me that I need more... I need more ground troops. That's what it needs. I, like, I need to contest his zealots with my own zealots. I'm pretty sure that's what I gotta go for. Um, that and I think adepts would actually be helpful. Like a, 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 depths, a lineup of adepts here. 
But everything's so close together right now that we're just going to get blasted by Psystorm pretty effectively. So I'm going to put everything down here kind of like this. Um, there we go. There we go. And then this can go kind of like right here. And then we're going to put down some Adepts in the back. Um, and by some I mean like two Adepts. How are we performing here? Um, I think my Scouts are still handling the air decently, but uh-oh. Not anymore, it seems. Uh, the Scouts aren't actually dealing with the Mirages too well, so... Mm, hopefully the Adepts will change that. Hopefully the Adepts will change that. So let's get some Adepts down here. And there we go. And I probably need to get Talus out here at some point. Um, so this will probably turn into Tal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this this uh, adept into Talus. Uh, we're gonna get the Sonic Projection. Uh, let's see, Cybros Detection Suits, Arbiter Suit. Okay, that's only the Arbiter Suit though. Hmm. That ain't it. Uh, let's see. So the adepts here are coming in in force now, um, but they are getting gunned down. They're my second front line basically, um, after the Legionaries, and my front line is just really not. Really not cutting it right now. I'm really not cutting it right now. Uh-oh. Like, the Artanis wave with the Archons is actually really tough to get through. Um, mm -mm. But my Immortals, like, they're not getting through the Archons. Like, I need them to get through the Archons, and then we'll probably have a good time. I want to put down more Legionaries, I think. That's what I'm going to go for. I actually didn't even have a look at what our opponents have for modifiers. Let's see. Swana is just plus two damage. Okay, nice. That's always nice to see. Okay, Kaldalas is charged in, and Kaldalas is down. There we go, grab a metric overload coming in here. Uh, Adepts as the second front line. Adepts, uh, okay. We've incinerated most of these things, but literally now that's about all we could do because, yep, Karax's line just charges me way too quickly. Um, I guess maybe I just gotta just keep going with it. Like, I'll probably put down Warbringer here or something, and then we'll see what happens. Um, Okay, so I need to make sure that I have at least 10 Adepts and 7 Legionaries, because that's like sort of the magic number you want to try and hit uh, for each of the stuff. I'm going to get one armor upgrade for my units here. Um, there we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, I think we've hit peak number of Colossi now that uh, they're actually going to be a little dangerous to our opponent's uh, waves here. Okay, uh, we're going to need to scan because our Observer probably got taken out by the Psy Storm, actually. So maybe i got to put, stop putting it in the center. I'm going to put it like over here and then let's put out let's put out a another one another one of these bad boys and i want to put that i want to put out a second observer we're gonna have two observers just contingency um and then i'm gonna put this guy over here uh maybe kind of closer to over here i'll put it over here um and then we're gonna try and get a few more adepts here is that our tempest uh yes no well, we have one raid boss here. Uh, my front line's melting pretty quickly. I think now is probably the time for disruptors, to be honest. I could have went for a cooldown reduction disruptor build, but I, don't, I didn't get the cooldown reduction aura. So, oops. Yeah. Okay. You know what? It's looking like it's looking like we're gonna need some disruptors here. Disruptors are actually probably the most powerful unit Phoenix has. They're also the most meme unit. Um. So let's see. Where am I gonna do it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put down one of these bad boys here. Hmm. Let's go. I'm gonna go disruptors. I should probably have gotten a little bit more immortals first, but we're gonna we're gonna go straight for the disruption web. Uh, let's get this here and then cloaking module. I mean, it's good that our Tannis is trying to transition to something that stacks a little harder. Um, very helpful. Boom. Okay, disruptor just sort of blasted something, and it's sort of cloaked here right now. So it's just it's just dinging stuff off, which is fine. We are actually beating. The Karax wave, probably because we have these Tempests to support us here. Uh, no, definitely because we have those Tempests to support us here. Uh, there we go. Let's just put this down right over here. I live on. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna put this down here. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get Purification Echo here. Cause I'm gonna need that to deal with all these like Immortals and everything. Uh, boom. Okay, that just went off. Okay, there we go, there we go, that helped us crash through those Immortals a little better. And I think I should just exclusively be getting Disruptors at this point. I don't even know, guys. Maybe maybe that's a bad idea. But okay, but at least my Observers being off to the side, they don't die to Psy Storm and AoE as much now. So that's good news. That's good to see. Um, my guys do no damage to the Ares bots, though. That's the only thing. Like, Colossi don't do any damage um, in, in terms of how much like they hit per shot. 
There we go. I live on. Let's get some more disruptors out here. How how many kills? This guy's got two kills. That guy's got no kills. Nice. Okay. Um, I should probably micro them to be honest, because they're casting them a little too early. Uh, and oh my god, Karax's Colossi wave is actually just burning me up. Like Karax's Colossi is just a little too strong. Uh, that is until I get onto his uh, onto his Colossi line, but. They were, I don't have enough air damage, like anti-air right now. Like my air force is the one that's actually leaking, um, and that's kind of bad for us. Let's see, we're gonna have to, we're just gonna have to go, drop our raid bosses defensively here. Well, I'm gonna drop mine, but look at that, mine didn't last long at all against Artanis's wave. Like Artanis just crushed it because he has so much anti-armor here. Um, oh my god, look at that. So we, you just gonna have to build up a nice anti-armor wave this week because. Uh, the raid bosses will melt pretty quickly if you can uh, just DPS them down. Uh, so Swan here with this cyclone, like cyclone tank wave, is actually he's probably got the right idea to be honest. Um, I think I'm building too many things at once right now. I'm not building enough of anything, um, and I'm pretty sure that's why we're losing right now. Like that's why my wave is losing to this uh, air wave because I just don't have enough scouts. I'm pretty sure. Like I don't have enough scouts to counter. Um, the Mirage spam, and that's detrimental. There we go, let's put that down here, and we're probably gonna... Oh, I realized I didn't pull my cannons back. I didn't have a chance to, uh, at least. Okay, so the Disruptors here are gonna do some damage, but the Archons are gonna survive it because they have the Immortality Protocol here. Um, and I don't think I have nearly enough Immortals on the ground to counter this. Like, I don't have nearly enough Immortals. Like, Taldaran's doing his best, but... This is it's just ain't gonna cut it. Okay, so I'm gonna need I need some more immortals here to contest. Um, I don't I don't have nearly enough anti armor here uh, for what I should be going. I should be I should just be going a full immortal comp, but like there's just elements of stuff mixed in there that is like forcing me to do other things. Hopefully we can hang in here. If our opponents all put down the raid bosses, we might have just lost right there. I like that this week is a little bit more interesting though, um, in the sense that it's not so obvious when uh, you're gonna push to win the game because everyone can put down the raid bosses. Um, let's see, I got some support here from Ally Artanis with the Tempest, so we're probably going to be able to win this air push decently. Um, there we go, I'm going to get some Purifier Armaments, nah, that's not worth it, it's not worth it. I need, look at the amount of Immortals he's got out here, like, I need more Immortals. Like, I need so many more Immortals. Um, but also Artanis' Immortals have a lot more HP than mine, so like, in order to properly contest them, I'm pretty sure I need to get some pure, like some of these guys over here, purification novas. Um, let's see. Although the enemy Artanis has only gone ground, our Artanis has already tech switched into something in the air. Although the air force is not going to last against the very high powered rates here. That is until it just doesn't have any rates left. Okay, there we go. I think I need. I think I need more front line. Um, in terms of legionaries to tank that swan wave, because every time I push in that swan wave, those tanks just obliterate everything I got. Um, maybe it's a sign that I need carriers. Um, maybe it's actually a sign I need carriers, because I can actually do pretty well with carriers. My carriers are weaker than Karax carriers, because they don't heal themselves. Um, but carriers are still better than nothing at the end of the day. Um, can I just get Warbringer? I'm just going to get Warbringer here. Um, he's not going to come out for this round though, which uh, this round might actually be bad for us because I'm running into this Artanis Crusher comp here, and uh, the Robo Bay is so powerful. Oh my God! Can we can we do it? We are actually gonna. My wave actually got completely obliterated here, and uh, I guess my wave was the one that was the one that was weak. Um, ooh, all right. I think. I don't know, it was, it was hard to deal with like the variety of threats that was going on. Maybe I was just doing it wrong. Maybe instead of these disruptors, I could have just got these as immortals. Um, and maybe instead of the adepts, I could have just got them as legionaries. I don't know, guys. Let me know. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Um, let's have a look here. Kill count, 518. I killed 100, I did 160k damage. Well, that's, that's pretty good. But this Artanis did 144k, and it was a... It was a 3v2 for the most part of this game. Uh, 98k mineral value killed. Not too bad in terms of mineral value killed. Okay, well, I want to pop the tier list right now. Well, uh, right after this, so stay tuned. Bam. All right, and we are back. Let's get right into it. So game plan, same as always. We're going to talk about the auras, talk about the overall strategy, and then we're going to look at the commander rankings. 
Uh, for those of you who have decided to skip forward uh, or have watched until the end and are not yet subscribed, uh, be sure to sub for more Direct Strike content. And let's get right into it. So Auras, as you guys have seen in the gameplay, uh, we have, you know, you pick an Aura. Um, that's one of the Auras. And we have Stockpile, Extra Starting Cash. Honestly, I think Stockpile is one of the most boring Auras. It doesn't really do anything for the game in the long term. Um, and finally, we have Raid Boss. And Raid Boss summons a powerful Thor, and you gain a charge of Raid Boss every four minutes. So the strategy this week is, honestly, it's pretty open-ended. There's no, like, real strategy I can see to build around. Um... All I can see is that you can pick an aura that does well with your commander and try to hold on to your raid bosses for as long as possible because raid bosses are a non-renewable resource and if you use yours early, uh, it means that if your opponent can beat that wave back, you are going to be in trouble because your opponent now has two more or three more raid bosses than you have and especially if you coordinated a raid boss push with your team like I did. Um, but my opponents did have to use Raid Boss to counter. I think they would have lost if they didn't. But if there is a wave that can beat the Raid Boss wave, right, um, then that's pretty bad news uh, for you. Right? So you want to try and build a wave that can just crush Raid Bosses. Uh, but your opponents are also probably going to build a wave that can crush the wave that will crush Raid Bosses. So there will be a very interesting brawl, to say the least. And here are the um, rankings, I guess. So... I think every time there's the aura uh, that comes up, I'm always going to put Vorazun in the S tier because of her stalkers just being able to warp a lot more. Uh, that being said, she's not going to be there for DPS, I wouldn't think. Even though stalkers do do bonus damage to armored units, uh, they're mostly there to just wait and stall and then stack with her allies wave and then so on and so forth. But I think it's still very powerful, right? Once you get critical mass of stalkers, it's actually very, very strong. Uh, I have Alarak up there for the same reason with his slayers. Although his slayers aren't as tanky, they do twice, they do a lot more damage. Um, and I think with cooldown reduction, it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. And then the rest of the units Alarak has to offer is definitely going to be very effective against Raid Bros. Uh, so yeah, I think Alarak is going to do decently. Um, I have Manx up here because I'm just thinking about how strong his Aegis Guards are going to be against like literally everything that's on the ground. Um, and then like maybe Shock Divisions in the long run, maybe. But I, I could be wrong. I'm just thinking of just the uh, potential sort of like um, 1v1 scenario, like your wave versus your opponent's wave, like Manx will be able to hammer it quite well. Uh, which is also why I have Stepman up here in the A tier, because I think Stepman uh, this week with the Stack Breaker build is going to be very good. You're just going to blast your opponent's wave to pieces and then then do some more damage, right? Uh, if Raid Boss is there, it doesn't matter, because I'm pretty sure like all the splash damage is going to knock it out anyways. And it's mechanical, so Stepman's Ultralisk are going to be able to take it out. And because you start with extra cash, uh, Stepman has a little bit more cash to work with, which is always good, because ca uh, Stepman's always really cash-strapped. Um, I think Hunter Horner is A, because um, you can probably do like a like a really like weird... You can do a lot of weird things with Hunter Horner, because if you get cooldown reduction, you can just go Widow Vines and just blast the stuff out of stuff. Uh, you could go, like, the high DPS build with, like, grenade cars and reapers and then tech switch. You know, all the fancy things. So I think Hunter Horn is still going to be pretty good. Um, I'm just thinking about how powerful a steer rates uh, and assault galleons, the combo together in the late game could be. Uh, so I'm just I'm just, I'm just, just waiting to try that out. I think Texas is A. Um, he starts with more, more money, so he can probably start with an extra outlaw a little earlier. But I don't... I think he might be overrated here. Um, it might be the case that because he drops off a little harder in late game, and so unless you're like really good at playing Tychus, I don't. I think he might be closer to B. Honestly, I think uh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong though. Uh, and we now have Nova in the A as well. I think Nova just does decently well with most of the modifiers, and if she's going to be encountering like the stalkers and stuff, she can at least try and tank or like no like like stack with her tanks. Um, I don't know. I think Nova's wave is usually very strong, so that's why I sort of have her up here, really. Uh, and then so next approaching like B and C tiers, I think we have we have Rainer here in the B tier with uh, I think the Death Fleet strategy would be pretty good this week. Uh, Abathur actually has the potential to be a lot higher if he gets cooldown reduction, and then you go Swarm Host because Swarm Host cooldown reduction, you're just gonna you're just gonna be summoning lots and lots of locusts. Um, Artanis is in the B because he has the Robo the Robo Bay comp which is very good against armored units, uh, and he can make up for his weaknesses against small light units with Archons. It just takes a long time to get there, uh, but I think Artanis is going to be a pretty safe choice for this week overall uh, in performance. Uh, same thing with Phoenix, even though I just got body with Phoenix. I think um, had my opponents not had such a diverse uh, array of threats, I probably could have dealt with that um, pretty 
pretty well. I think when it was like a 3v3, I was actually doing better, I think, than when it was a little bit later. But that just might have been the state of the game. Uh, and so maybe let's talk about our D tiers. Um, I know I just got bodied by a Karax, but I think Karax always still suffers from the same problem of him being Karax. Yes, you can go a pure ground comp and you'll be pretty strong. Um, and the only weakness will be your air, right? But if your opponents can beat your Mirages, you're going to be in a bit of trouble. And I'm thinking Vorazun can deal with mirages quite easily i'm just thinking that i'm just thinking that so yeah maybe it's an unfair comparison um and then zagar here's in the d tier because i think this one might be like this one might be the ultimate dark horse this week because you have more money to work with so zagar is always gonna like that um so it might be the case that zagar will actually be a little bit better because you need to hit tier 3 asap as zagar and then start like pumping out hunter killers and apparitions that's basically your entire build right so you can get there a little earlier so we gotta watch out for Zagar, but I think Zagar is just gonna have a little bit of trouble. Because if your wave crashes into a bunch of raid bosses and can't kill them, that could be bad. But it could also have the same Stepman effect where it kills all of them. So we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. So be sure to like let me know um, what you guys think of uh, this ranking list. Uh, are there any commanders that you think are underrated that I have a strategy that I never considered? Because uh, that's totally possible, right? Because there's so many possible things you can do with all these commanders. So uh, it's entirely possible that I might have missed something. So be sure to let me know. Uh, and yeah, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later.